Promotional consideration paid for by the following. I used to be concerned and nervous about the future. Sometimes I'd get scared before an important event such as childbirth or family funeral. Hey, sometimes you need a little help navigating life's trouble spots. That's when I discovered Equinox. After the divorce and losing little Tommy, life was getting me down. I couldn't focus on anything at work. After trying Equinox, I've been employee of the month three times in a row. I used to fall unconscious for hours at a time. Now with Equinox, I never need to sleep. Equinox is new from Zybatsu Pharmaceuticals. Ask your doctor about Equinox today. Equinox may cause nausea, loss of sleep, blurred vision, leakage, kidney problems, and breathing irregularities. Do not take Equinox if you're operating any machinery, driving a car, pregnant, a child bearing age, unhappy, or off a family history, mental disorders. Equinox, softening life's harsh reality. Shut, Shut up, up and sit down. down. Hello everybody, I want to welcome you to a very special episode. It's episode 377 of Third Shift, and I'm of course one of your hosts, Mr. Eric. But unfortunately today, he's very sick, he's very ill, his uh, left left foot is falling away, he can't cough or he might die, things are a little tragic, I don't know what to tell you, but I'm still here, and of course with me today is the same person who's always here, it's the inglorious bastard himself, it's Mr. Matt, he's here today, I think he's a bit sick too. I think we're both under the weather. Uh, you know, I think that's the way things go. You know, this time of year, it's the it's the time of giving, the time of receiving, and by receiving, I mean receiving all sorts of plagues and diseases. And I did I did my part and made sure that my family down south got it, so they're all suffering just like me. It's fine. It's fun. It's an extravaganza. But we are here for a little bit of time with you on episode three hundred seventy seven because we would never just leave you empty handed. Because that's not what we do. Because we care about you. We love you guys. And want to make sure you at least get something out of us every week. But before we talk about anything whatsoever, which, like I told you, will be short. Matt, how's your week, buddy? This is the week we should have taken off. Yeah. Because even even after the little pre-show rigmarole, I can already feel that I'm about half a second away from coughing my lungs out, too. But I'm going to tell you, it was before this last half of the week. <clears throat> where it's turned into a nightmare. Uh, it was a great week because I got stuff to talk about. And one thing I got to talk about is something from two weeks ago, however you want to think about it, what I should have talked about on the last episode. Went to a Lansing Symphony Orchestra chamber concert and it was a unique setup because it was a flute, it was a viola, and it was a harp. What the heck kind of music could you ever make with those three? But it was all awesome. It was all fantastic. And what I really appreciated too was, you know, you think of a harp. Who plays a harp? Angels play harps. Angels. It's a heavenly instrument. It's, it takes you off into magical lands. And they did that with a lot of pieces here. But the last piece they did, it was like a contemporary, I think, Argentinian composer. It was like this, this, this crazy thing to start with. And then like you like go underwater. So like all the sounds are different. And the lady who did the harp like almost untuned it or tuned it to a minor key. And it was like the most devilish, demonish harp I've ever heard. Well, see, you kind of went the direction I thought, man. I thought you were going to say Satan came up yeah. and played the harp for us. And I was like, that'd be, that'd, be the, that'd be a showstopper right there. And I told Mama, the, the, the line from Batman Returns jumped into my head. I've been playing this stinking city like a harp from hell. And I went, that's what this sounds like. It's a harp from hell, not, not an angelic harp. The other thing that was cool was... I don't know if she, this was a harp she used like for training, you know, students or whatever, because it had like, it would have regu- regular harp strings, and then it would have like a red one, and then like three regular strings, and then like a black one. So you could really see the strings getting plucked and vibrating. It was really cool. If you're into, you know, classical music and stuff, it was great. The whole show was great. Unique, cool stuff. Really enjoyed it. So that was a couple weeks ago. Thanksgiving time came around, and it was magical. It was wonderful. It was great. The leftovers continue to be wonderful and great. For dinner tonight, I had leftover turkey and stuffing, and there's still more for me to have tomorrow. Suck it, big fridge. Suck it, big grocery. I guess Mom and I, even, even we even watched it on the weekend. I think it was the CBS National Weekend News. They talked to some food safety lady. If you don't freeze it or eat it all by Monday, you have to throw it away. Lady, it's 2023. You can act like refrigerators don't exist. Like, sure, I say it every year. If I open it up and it's furry, yeah, I'm going to throw it away. 
If I open up the little turkey bag and it's all slimy, I throw it away. But it's not because it's 2023. And even my fridge, which is not even like my fridge, is some old ass fridge that's been in this apartment for how long? It works, keeps it fresh, it keeps it healthy. But that afternoon, after the turkey and football sleep, it's when I woke up feeling bad, feeling terrible. Next day got worse. Next day got a little better. Next day got worse. Next day got a little better. Next day got a little worse. We're in the midst of it now. I don't know. Friday could be great. Friday could be terrible. It's all up to the the dice. Probably isn't going to be great. It's all up to the whims of the gods. But on Monday, when I was feeling a little bit better and had the day off scheduled, went and saw the Marbles with Mom because she's got a free ticket, and I used my, my Regal Unlimited, went and saw it. I enjoyed it. But it's weird because, you know, I watched somebody's review of it before I went because I wasn't sure if I'd see it. You know, I've done it a few times. Who cares? But all the stuff that they didn't like in that movie was all the stuff that I did like. Like everything that's not, I'm trying to be a serious Marvel movie. Like, you know, it's it's goofy. It's kind of girly. There's a bunch of stuff with music that they do that's really kind of out of left field. And in that review, they're like, oh, this is just, yeah, bleh, bleh, all those things, bleh. But it gives it character here. Like the things I didn't like were, I'm trying to be a serious Marvel movie. Hey, Captain Marvel, why didn't you come back? Oh, I really wanted to. Well, this is fine. I wasn't dogging on it or anything. But when they take those characters and cock them, like italicize, like cock them to the side and do this weird stuff, I went, this is what I want to see. I want to see some silly superhero movies. I want to see some serious ones. I want to see some fun ones. I want to see some... This one was super girly. And it was different. And it was unique. And I went, yes, do this. Add different things from different characters. You know, Ant-Man, have his stuff be this way. Deadpool's obviously going to be the most extreme version. Have these characters just be silly and fun in that you know, kind of like girl power team way. It works. It makes it unique and interesting. It doesn't all have to be cookie cutter. We're, we're kind of funny in this way, but we got to stay serious. Just be a silly movie. That's what I wanted. I wanted to go more overboard and more silly because that stuff, it livened it up. It gave it personality. It was fun. Of course, the next day, felt way more sick. So my usual Giving Tuesday playathon at the Williamston Theater, I couldn't go. Granted, I could have gone and hacked my way through all the nice readings and felt real sweaty and weird at the end of it, but I said, no, I'm going to sit here in bed, drink some vitamin C, drink some fluids, and play Persona 5 Tactica all day on my PlayStation Portal. It was great. Oh, yeah. It was awesome. It was easy, but it was awesome. The game is just a lot of fun. We talked about it a lot more on the Watch Plan before we got to be the most sick that we are right now. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I, I got in there too. And of course, it was as I said on the Watch Plan, I was just shocked because man goes, hey man, done with like the first mission area, you know? And I'm like, oh crap. This dude just jumped right ahead of me because I was enjoying it too. I did the intros and I did all that. Got into the meat and taters, started to get, you know, some some juice and some stuff flowing. But then, uh, you know, the whole Thanksgiving time took over, so I had to take a break myself. And, uh, you know, and then he goes, oh, it's super easy, you know, but uh, the quests are a little bit challenging. And I went, oh, okay. That's that's how it is shaking up. I, was, I wasn't I was sure because, obviously, I'd just done all the intro missions and, like, one actual real mission. So I was like, well, maybe. Maybe they're just easing you into it. And then uh, so I, I, I tried to, you know, well, I better get in there. So I did, like, the quest, too, and we talk about that in the the other show. You'll have to go check that out if you want to know more. But it was a good time. Overall, so far, I'm enjoying it. I'm still way behind Matt, though. And I was telling myself I'll do maybe a little bit tonight. But uh, because of the, the illness and pain and whatnot, I don't know if I got it in me to think or try anything at all. But we'll see. Well, good news for you. You could do the story missions then because you don't got to think. You don't got to think. But I'm on the third kingdom now. The story is at least a little bit different because it's... I don't I don't know how this kingdom's going to come uh, to be or what the story of that is going to be, but I don't know. I'm not too invested in it, and I think the easy battles don't help, but it's still fun. It's still a move units on a grid type of a game, which I love, so I'm hoping it comes together at the end like the Persona games always do. The only other game I played this week, Ellen Wake 2, and it's spooky, and it's scary. There's no skeletons yet, but it's spooky, scary skeletons time. 
And I've just gotten to the point where they finally came together and you can choose to do it in whatever order you want right now. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure which one I want to do. If I want to go all one and then go back, do the other one. But I'm excited for more of that. And that's all I've been doing. I'm sick and I'm not having a good time here. Eric, tell us about your your good times. Well, by golly, we had the old Thanksgiving. And it was a good time, man. You know, nothing's better than going out and hanging out with some family you like. And then uh, you all cooking food. And none of us are schlubs, so we can all cook. I'm not saying we're chefs, but we know how to cook. So we had just juicy, awesome turkey. We had juicy, awesome ham. All the fixings you could want. You know, we had it. And even though, even at that time, I had bronchitis, I'm still hacking up. I could taste. I could taste everything. And other than that, I was fine. I had energy. So I'm in that kitchen just going away. Whenever the fits would come, I'd have to leave, wash hands. You know, the usual practicalities. Still didn't matter. I ended up giving to them all anyway. But, uh, you know, that's the price you pay, I guess. I, I told them I had it, so it's not like it was a surprise. But we had fun, and that's what matters. We had a good time. It was our last visit for the year. And, of course, while we're there, as I've discussed on the uh, other show that uh, you'd have to go pay a few bucks to listen to, got back into some Diablo 4. So, you know, good times there. But the main and thick of everything was, of course, playing... Uh, some Persona 5 Tactica, which I already talked about, getting to that point, but I was too sick, as you can see. Can't talk much. Um, so I, you know, did what I could, but to be, to be honest, it's been rough, and I've just been going to bed every night, so trying to get over it, and at the very most, watch a show, if that, because by the time I get halfway through the show, I'm like, I'm drooping in the seat, you know, falling asleep, um, it's just been rough. It's been a rough few days. It's unfortunate. Nothing I can do about it, but, uh, you know, I, I still enjoyed the holiday for sure. Don't regret uh, getting out there and having some fun. Hoping uh, I can kick everything in the next few days and just rock and roll and give you guys oh, 110% of my energy. Can't wait. I'm going to go nuts. I'm going to lose my flipping mind, and I'm going to act like a gosh dang fool, and it's going to be great. Yeah, boy. Woo. I almost choked to death. Now, Eric put a game in his video game releases, but I don't think we have the muscle to get through it. I will just tell you, Mr. Eric, because you are a Turok man. Oh, you got the yeah. Turok memories. Did oh, you know yeah. Turok 3, Shadow of Oblivion, has been remastered and is available now for PC and probably some other consoles and stuff, too? I can only pull up the PC version. I saw a review of it today. It looked pretty wacky. Looked and that's pretty the one crazy. where you get the cerebral gun, too, I think, where you blow their brains out. <laughs> It's it's the one where you play as like the two characters, like the sister and the brother, and you run around do a bunch of stuff. Oh dear! Oh, I might be dead. I might be dead. Hey, I might be dead, everybody. This all right. Might be it. Obviously, I'm cutting all that stuff out, but I feel bad, so we're not going to stick around too much longer. Check that out, Eric. Check out some Turok Three Remastered. If they did Three Remastered, they have to have One and Two Remastered somewhere for you to check out. And for all you out there, sorry, it's a short, it's abbreviated, it's a weird episode, it's a sick episode. But we're here for you. Send us some well wishes, for God's sake. Wish us better. Send us good vibes via the email, thirdshiftme.gmail.com, on the Twitter machine at thirdshiftme. Find us on Facebook under Third Shift. Hit the Discord, the Patreon. You know, the Patreon, we treat it just like a tip jar. If you feel like you'd like to support our medical well-being and medical benefits, drop a dollar in there. Drop five bucks, ten bucks, a million bucks. We'll open up a food lion. And we'll have all the all the Clorox wipes everywhere. We're gonna sanitize the crap we'll out of that stuff. Selling, we'll sell antibiotics across the counter instead of having to go to the doctor. Eh? <laughs> I can't promise that. No. <laughs> okay. Okay. I got side tangent. Side tangent. I got to stick around with you for a little bit here. But I I listened to a cruise radio podcast where they review cruises mm-hmm. and stuff. The guy was just talking about. They went down to Cozumel. And he was like, "Yeah, they got like a pharmacy and stuff. It's real cool." And I was like, "Why would you talk about a pharmacy?" The host guy's like, wait, did you say pharmacy? Like, yeah, yeah. There's like a, a man holding a sign that says like pharmacy and prescription. They'd sell you like a Z-Pack for like 30 bucks for one pill. And I went, this is not not buying one. Yeah, well, that's that legit, man. One Z-Pack from a Mexican dude holding a sign for 30 bucks in Cozumel. Like, what? Well, that's not going to be our food lion. That's not how we're going to operate. No? Okay. <laughs> that's not how we're going to do it. But if you want a proper food lion, give us that million dollars. And otherwise, just give us a like, rating, review, a comment, a subscription. Any kind of good thing on any one of those good services, because it does help us out. We really do appreciate it. Give us five stars everywhere that five stars can exist. And we'll be back in your ear holes, hopefully properly, 
like real boys, on or around the 7th of December, we'll be alive. We better be. It won't just be me. We better be. It'll be me and Eric. Or I'm dead. It's got to end eventually. I can't just keep going forever. <laughs> we'll be back. Hopefully, you know, Eric will be like in traction, but he'll be laid up in some cool hospital bed. I'll stick a microphone in his face. I'll grab the Bob Barker mic and I'll hold it out to you. Mm. That's how we'll do it from our hospital That's- beds. With whatever God knows medicines that they're going to have to give me to figure this out. But look out for us on iTunes and Stitcher, Podbean, Spotify, and on YouTube. And as I always say, hey, I did that part already. Give us all the things. Give us all the well wishes. Uh, sorry, it's not a, a proper episode, everybody, but we can't do it. Until next time, there's nothing else to say but. Don't. Don't know what to say. Sit down.